This module provides basic operating procedures for the HennyPenny Computron 8000 control that applies to both 4 and 8 head pressure fryers. Detailed instructions on the operation of the Computron 8000 control can be found in the user manual attached to the additional references section of this course. The Computron 8000 is a sophisticated yet easy to use control that offers a wide variety of operational and technical functions. The Computron 8000 is the default control for all general market A head fryers and an optional control for all four head pressure fryers. The Computron 8000 control differs from both the Computron 1000 and 2000 controls by offering the following features. 16 digit alphanumeric display, indicator lights for heat and pressure outputs, weight and ready indicator lights, 10 programmable products with up to 10 intervals and four alarms per product, text-based error displays for probe errors, high limit, drain open, etc. Statistics tracking such as last load, daily stats, review usage, error log, etc. Filter enforcement after X number of cook cycles, so further cooking is disabled until after the oil is filtered, and easy to follow instructions provided in the cleanup mode. Before we go over the basic operation and navigation of the Computron 8000, let's cover what each button does and each light indicates on the control. The heat on light lights up when the control calls for heat and the elements or burners come on and heat the oil. The digital display shows all the functions of the cook cycle, program modes, diagnostic modes, and alarms. The pressure on light lights up when the solenoid closes and pressure starts to build inside the vat or fry pot. The weight light flashes when the oil temperature is not at the proper temperature for cooking product. The ready light lights up when the oil temperature is 5 degrees Fahrenheit or 3 degrees Celsius below to 15 degrees Fahrenheit or 9 degrees Celsius above the cooking temperature, signaling the operator that the oil temperature is at the proper temperature for cooking product. The info button displays fryer information related to oil temperature, filtration status, cooking data, and oil life. If pressed while in the program mode, it is used to advance to the previous setting. Press with the program button to access information mode, which has historic information on the operator and fryer's performance. The up and down buttons are used to adjust the values of currently displayed setting in the program mode. The program button is used to access program mode and then used to advance to the next setting. Press with the info button to access information mode which has historic information on the operator and fryer's performance. The timer button is used to start and stop cook cycles and to stop the timer at the end of a holding cycle. The menu card window shows the name of the food product associated with each product window selection button. The menu card strip is located behind the decal. The product select buttons are used to select the product for cooking. The cook pump switch is a three-way switch with the off position placed in the center. Turn the switch to the cook position to operate the fryer. Turn the switch to the pump position to operate the filter pump. The idle clean button is used to manually enter idle or cleanup modes. Now that you know what each button does and what every light indicates, let's go over clock setup. Upon initial startup or after control board replacement, the Computron 8000 will bring up the clock setup menu and clock set will be displayed. Use the clock setup settings to program the time and date so the data collected by the control can later be displayed with the correct time and date any event took place on. The clock setup menu 
can also be accessed in level 2 programming, which will be covered in detail in the control system course. Once clock set is displayed, the menu will show option CS1 month, and the first set of digits will blink. Use either up or down arrow to adjust the month number, then press the program button to move to the next set of values. The control now shows CS2 date. Press either up or down arrow to change the date of the month. Then press the program button to move to the next set of values. Now the control shows CS3 year. Press either up or down arrow to change the year. Press the program button to move to the next setting. Now the control shows CS4 set hour and the first set of values blink. Use either the up or down arrow to change the hour. Then press program button to move to the minutes. The control now shows CS5 set minute. Use either up or down arrow to change the value. Press the program button to advance to the next setting where CSC clock mode shows. Use either up or down arrow to switch between AM PM clock mode and military time format. Press the program button to advance to the next setting, CS7 Daylight Saving Adjustment. Use either up or down arrow to choose from US, off, first Sunday of April, or Euro. Other software versions might show different options for this setting. Press the program button to advance to the next setting. Now the control shows CS8 begin new day. In this feature, you can choose what time of the day is considered the beginning of a new day for data collection purposes. 3 a.m. is set by default, which means that any information collected before 3 a.m. is displayed under the previous calendar day. Use the up or down arrow to change this value. Press the program button to go back to the beginning of the clock set menu. Press and hold the program button to save the changes and exit the menu.